What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So today we are back on the Malibu project. Last quick video I showed you guys it is broken. Parts are in the mail. We're gonna try to have this thing up and running in no time. There's a uh, it's an airport race, so flashlight. Uh, they're they're prepping it for like first hundred feet, but I'm assuming it's probably pretty poor prep. Uh, so it's kind of like a no prep flashlight evening race, which should be fun. My buddies are signed up, Jeff and Reed. So I figure it's a good opportunity for us to get out there, not worry as much about 60 foots, time slips, any of that, this first guy to the finish line wins. So a lot more racing versus worried about 60 foot and how you're leaving. It's like, did you beat the guy next to you? So that is gonna be pretty cool. Never done the flashlight thing, no prep style stuff um, at all. Also, uh, my boy from Mickey Thompson, Todd, swung by. He wanted to ride the Twinnebago. Uh, brought me some tires that I purchased from Mickey Thompson. So we got some 8.5 slicks. We're keeping the car as an A5 235 car. So we're gonna try these for my local track, Irwindale, which hopefully this will benefit um, everything for me as far as leaving and all that fun stuff go. Anyway, I got plenty of other bugs to work out, honestly. But uh, yeah, these will be fun to try at some point. Need to get some rims. So today, what we are doing, the Malibu is still broke. The lifter is munched. It is all in there, but I kept telling you guys, oh, I'm gonna do the front end, do the front end, do the front end. Well, guess what we are doing today? We are doing the front end. So I'm at least gonna pull the whole damn thing apart if I have to today, because that forces me to do it. So we will have the rack and pinion in and then hopefully get this thing fixed. I should have parts hopefully by tomorrow. We'll let you guys in on what cam and stuff I chose. Uh, I think I over it a little bit, but we got future plans. We're hoping we can do some future growth with it if it doesn't take this cam out uh, this go round. So anyway, what we got is our stock 1964 suspension up front, right? So stock suspension, all that stuff I upgraded with a, just like some Chinese aftermarket discs. I haven't even adjusted or anything. I should probably check all the adjustment and everything on that, but um, it is a stock box drag link set. And then, I don't know if you can see it on there, but it hits the oil pan on both sides at lock. From lock to lock, it's chewing up the oil pan. Holly makes a pan where it doesn't do that, but obviously I don't have that pan. So the rack and pinion should cure that. And supposedly it's bolt on is what um, I was told. So we will see, we'll see how it works. And we'll take the sway bar off too. We'll get rid of that because apparently you don't need that when you drag race. And then the only other thing is that's gonna make this link a little bit different. I have a, a piece over there. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see how this ends up working out with everything gone. So here's the whole kit and caboodle. I just spent a bunch of time really trying to go back and find where I opened this. So I open it. Let's go open this thing up. This is really amazing. I'm really excited. So we'll do that. And then I got some other stuff to talk about. We can talk about videos and everything else. But important things first. Let's go. All right. Here she is. Bam. So this is from Brandon Lowell. I believe that's how you say your last name. I am completely sorry if I butcher it. Yeah, I'll give you like two seconds to guess what that thing is. Nope, it's not a canoe. It's even better. So let me grab some uh, utensils over here. Make some work of this bad boy. Uh, let me say thank you again, dude, if you leave a comment. Uh, again, I can't thank you enough for this thing. I got this thing like nine months ago and I'm terrible, so I should have had this in the car a long time ago. But, let's recap. Uh, he printed out the directions. This is the brand. So anybody that wants one of these, we'll see how it fits and works and everything. Um, this is the whole kit. He did have it on his car, so he used it for a bit. Um, and then these, I believe, are like all the trailing arm knuckles and everything that I need. And then this, he said he threw an extra for steering because he didn't really know what my steering setup was and he said he just had it so we will see i don't i think this one's threaded yeah this isn't threaded so and neither is that this is a square d so we'll see what i got i don't know if i have any joints that will fit that but um, if i don't it doesn't matter i will get it because we're going to throw this in so let's yank the old stuff let's yank the old stuff out and then see how we go so steering box We'll take this guy off. I think what I'd like to do is probably get a measurement end to end. At least I can get somewhat an idea of the car tracking straight because I don't have any alignment issues, but I'm sure I will uh, as soon as I put this in. So let's get cracking. 
I'm going to install this thing. And essentially, it's got three holes here, two holes there. So it bolts in just like the original stuff to the original location, which is super simple. Uh, and then we'll bolt these little steering arms on. The only hodgepodge I had was I don't have the hardware. So I got smart and I just found, I dug in my stash and I found some nylocks that I had and washers. So we'll just use the old hardware that held the rack on. And then we'll just put a bolt and a washer on the back side. So I found enough to do that. And then the other side already had uh, nuts and bolts. So I'll just reuse what we had. If it held the other stuff in, hopefully we'll hold this in, right? Okay. Let's throw this thing up in there. So we've got this thing bolted in. I haven't tightened it up yet, but we're going to tighten it up both sides. Just wanted to show you where my steering ended up way further to the left. It used to just line up right here with the box. So we'll definitely have to take advantage of the steering knuckles. Uh, these dudes, I got that. And then I think I have maybe more on the shelf over there. But for those of you guys that are amateurs or whatever, or you don't feel like dealing with stuff, she's not a bolt-in kit. It bolts in this far, but then you got to figure the rest out. So I may even have to weld something here to stabilize or whatnot and then i got to put my hot side back on to make sure we're not running into stuff so a little bit of a challenge with that not a big deal for the most part really but more of a pain in the ass because like i said it used to just line right up so now we got to mess with that but all in all it seems like it hangs down a little bit uh below the cross member maybe yeah just a little bit further down so if you're real low that might be a deal breaker too because this thing would hit before your cross member even so uh, but look at all the clearance for the the pan so that's that's a plus all right i'll keep rolling all right well the sprinklers are on sun is going down that means it's time for me to have dinner clean up call it a day until next time but we did get everything installed so we got it all bolted down we got the bad boy here and then we got it bolted down there so that is it we got plenty of oil pan clearance uh, it's all bolted up now i just have to hang the manifold on this side and then figure that out and i think they were saying to cut it like way back here and then bring this i mean it's gonna have to come up and over so i don't know if i'll probably need two joints and i might even need to stabilize it off of here but I'm going to need the manifold on here to make sure that I have clearance and room. So this was kind of what I really wanted to avoid. The rest of the stuff's not too bad, but having to deal with that is just, you know, one more thing to deal with. So I'm hoping it would be a little bit better, but for the most part, it's not the end of the world. It cleans things up, simplifies it. We got rid of the front sway bar, hopefully shaved a little weight in the process. So that's it. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to clean up. Until next time, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.